Hey folks, the year has changed. Welcome to 2024. So in this new year, your resolution, my resolution, our targets, our goals, everything has changed. And as they say, technology is ever evolving and ever changing. So why should the certifications be left behind? Well, they are also changing and Microsoft Azure is no exception. So in today's video, we will understand all the upcoming changes in all the fundamental exams for example, AZ900, DP900, AI900 and SC900. So in case you are preparing for one of these exams, please watch the video till the very end. And secondly, while showing you all the changes in all these fundamental exams, I will also share some documentation so that you can find and track all the changes by yourself. And thirdly, my friends, I will try to answer a very important question whether you should extend your already scheduled exam do you want to change your dates or maybe you need some more preparations to prepare for the exams do you need to study more all these questions that are popping in your head will be answered in this very video and yes if you like the video please press the like button i know you have not pressed the like button yet please press the like button like why kar do yaar please share my video and now what are we waiting for let's dive in so let's begin understanding all the upcoming changes starting with AZ900 because this, this is unarguably the most famous and most sought after certification in Microsoft stack. So mostly anyone who start learning Microsoft Azure begins with AZ900. So that's why I have kept this one as the first certification that we understand. So friends, I have structured this video in a way that I will share the documentation. So here you can see the Microsoft documentation here. And I will show you the way how can you yourself can track all the changes, all the existing syllabus that we have for any certification and compare it with the upcoming changes. And once we have understood the overview, then we will compare all the changes one by one side by side. So let's begin with AZ900 and I'm very sure that you all of know what is this certification all about. But in case you're new to the Microsoft Azure or maybe new to the IT world, then let me tell you that this is a foundational certification and this will help you gain the knowledge about the cloud concepts in general and also understand Microsoft Azure. This certification will test your knowledge in compute, networking, storage, and this will help you understand the concepts such as infrastructure management, database management, and software development. So all in all, a very famous certification in Microsoft Stack. And in case you really are looking forward for the Microsoft Azure as the career option, then this is the best and the first certification that you should look for. Now let's understand what are the changes coming up in this certification. To start with, you can see that this certification will be updated on 23rd January 2024. And to understand all the changes, you have to click on this Azure study guide. So here you can see that AZ900 study guide. You have to click on this to understand all the changes. Let's click on this. So basically, my friends, on this documentation, you will find, first of all, the purpose of this documentation. So here you can find all the important links for this examination. First of all, I want to bring your notice to these two very important links here. The first one is review the skills measured as of January 23rd, 2024. And then we have review the skills prior to the January 23rd, 2024. So this is the existing syllabus, which is prior to the January 23rd, 2024. And I'm not sure which date you will be watching this video. So basically, if you're watching this video prior to the 23rd Jan, then this is the syllabus that applies. Otherwise, if you're watching on the later dates, then and this labels applies. So friends, before we begin to compare the changes side by side, let's understand the change log. And here you can review all the changes in one clear shot. Here you can see that we have audience profile. So as you can see that audience profiles remains the same. There is no change, no change in the described cloud concepts. And here I want to just bring to your notice the headings that you see in the bold letters. So these are the major skills measured and under all these major sections, you can see these subsections. The first change that we encounter is given in this described cloud services type. So here we can see that we have minor change. Now the second change that we observe is described Azure identity access and security. Here here also you can see that we have minor chain. Now except these two changes, I do not find any other change in AZ900. So now let's try to compare these two changes side by side. So what I will do is I will go back again at the top of this documentation 
and here I will reach to this section and these ones yes so I will open these links side by side so we can compare all the changes coming up okay so now on your screen you can see that I have kept both the syllabus side by side so this one is skills measured prior to the January 23rd and this one is skills measured as of 23rd of January so as we saw in the documentation or in the change log that there is no change in the audience profile but I can still see there are some subtle changes here you can compare both the changes here the way I see is that Microsoft has now reorganized or restructured the way they have presented the audience profile so that is really good they have really neatly arranged the all the information now let's see what are the changes the first section that we saw contains the changes is described cloud services type so let me find out that one where is it one okay so this is the section that witnessed the first change so let me open both sides of this one so here we can see now I have opened both of the syllabuses. So now you can see that more or less both are same. Here we can see IAS, which is infrastructure as a service. Here also we can see the same pass, pass here as well, SAS and both sides we can see SAS as well. So here you can see a very small change, which is kind of negligible. So here you can see and read the line. So here you can see just this word is now being added, which is type, nothing much, nothing substantial. And then my friends, the next section that we saw the change was in this section, which was yes, this one, which was this Describe Azure Identity Access and Security. Now you can see and compare both the sections side by side. Now here I can see some of the changes. For example, earlier, as we all know, it was called Azure Active Directory, which is now renamed and a new service has come, which is Microsoft Intra ID. So here you can see earlier it says describe directory services in Azure, including Azure Active Directory, which is also short form as Azure AD part of Microsoft Intra and Azure Active Directory domain services. And now it says that describe directory services in Azure, including Microsoft Intra ID and Microsoft Intra domain services. And it's really good to see the way Microsoft is cleaning up. So this really gives a clear impression to any exam seeker. What are the services that they should focus on? And then my friends, you can observe one more change here. Earlier it says describe conditional access in Azure AD. And now it says describe Microsoft Intra conditional access. So just to summarize all these changes, you have to remember wherever it was earlier, Azure Active Directory, that has been replaced by Microsoft Entra. So that's all what we have as a change in AZ-900. Now let's move ahead with the DP900. But before that, I just want to remind you, my friends, that we at the Tech Blackboard, we have all the fundamental series like AZ900, DP900, AI900. And in these series, you will find exam like practice questions, validated answers with Microsoft documentation, exam tips. And most of all, you will understand all the Microsoft Azure concepts that will not only help you to pass the exams with flying colors, but also will help you to work professionally on Microsoft Azure. To begin with, DP900 is Microsoft Azure Data Fundamentals. And in this certification exam, you will understand and gain the knowledge around the core data concepts related to Microsoft Azure Data Services. Here you will understand all the concepts like relational and non-relational database. You will also understand different types of data workloads such as transactional and analytical. And now comes what are the changes and when are the changes coming? So here you can note the changes are coming on 1st of February 2024. Let's understand all the changes and then we will compare all the changes side by side. And for that, let's go through all the change logs. So here we can see what are the change logs for DP900. Let me open this in a new tab. Here you can see to begin with, we do not have any changes in audience profile. So let's move ahead. Now we can see first minor change coming up, which is described relational Azure data services. Moving on, we have another minor change coming up which is in describe common elements of large scale analytics. And the third change coming up is in this section, which is describe consideration for real time data analytics. So now let's compare all these changes side by side. So once again, I have opened the syllabus skill measured prior to 1st of February 2024 on the left hand side. And then we have skill measured on February 1st, 2024 and post that on right hand side. And once again, we can see a little more structure coming up in the audience profile. Now let's directly jump to the first change. Remember, we have three changes in DP900. And here comes the section where we find our first change, which is describe relational Azure data services. So here you can see to begin with, it says describe the Azure SQL family products, including Azure SQL database and Azure SQL. And along with this, you can also observe a second point, which is manage instance and SQL server on Azure virtual machine, which is kind of 
now fused into the first point in the newer syllabus. Here you can see that. So that was the only change in this section. Really cosmetic, really minor, nothing to worry about. Now let's move on to the next change that we have and that was in this section. Yes, this one, describe an analytics workload on Microsoft Azure. So here, first of all, you should always observe my friends, whenever you're comparing two sections, always observe whether the percentage of that section has increased or decreased Basically, this percentage reflects what kind of weightage this section holds in the real exam questions. So for example, this section says 25 to 30 percent, then you should expect 25 to 30 percent of the questions from this section. Now let's understand the change here in the third point, you can see describe Azure services for data warehousing, including Azure Synapse Analytics and Azure Databricks, Azure HD Insight and Azure Data Factory. So now the change that is coming up in this section is the addition of Microsoft Fabric. Other than this, everything is same. Now let's move on to the third change, which comes in this section, which is described consideration for real time data analytics. And here we can see the change is coming up in this second point. And here you can see this has been changed to identify Microsoft Cloud services for real time analytics. So those were the changes coming up in DP 900. Now let's move on to the AI 900. So what is AI 900? Well, AI 900 is Microsoft Azure AI fundamentals or artificial intelligence fundamentals. And here, as the name suggests, you will understand and gain the knowledge of Microsoft machine learning, AI concepts and related Microsoft Azure services. Now let's move ahead and see when are the changes coming. So here you can note that the changes are coming on 31st January 2024. Now let's understand what are the changes coming. We will first go through the change log. So here it comes change log. And here you can see that we do not have any change in the audience profile. No change here. Now let's see where is the change. So here is the first change that I can observe, which is identify features of common AI workloads. And other than this change, I do not find any change in AI 900. So now let's understand, compare side by side the old and the new syllabus. So once again, you can observe that we have skills measured prior to the January 31st, 2024 on the left hand side and the post changes on the existing or the new syllabus is on the right hand side and nothing is changed in the audience profile. So let's directly jump to the change and the change is coming under this section, which is describe artificial intelligence workloads and consideration. Once again, to remind you, always compare the weightage of the section, which is undergoing all the changes. So here we can see to start with, we have identify features of the common AI workloads, which is kind of same in the newer syllabus as well. Then we have some changes coming up here. Here you can see that we have identify features of data monitoring and anomaly detection workloads and this section my friends has now been removed in the newer syllabus the newer syllabus starts with the point which is identify features of content moderations and personalization workloads which was the second point earlier in the oldest syllabus and other than that there is no change in ai 900 now let's move on to the sc 900 which is microsoft security compliance and identity fundamentals here you can see that this exam will help you understand the fundamentals of security, compliance, identity across cloud based services and related Microsoft services. And here just to understand in case you have interest in Microsoft SCI solution, then this exam is for you, no matter whether you are a business stakeholder or a new or existing IT professional or just a student. So now let's understand when are the changes coming up. The changes are coming up on July 23rd, 2024. Let's head on to the change log. Here it comes, the change log. And here you can see that we do not have once again, no change in the audience profile. So where is the change? Let's find it out. Okay, so here is the section which is describe identity protection and governance capabilities for Microsoft Intra. This has one minor change. Other than that, there is no change in SC 900. Now let's compare the changes side by side. So here it comes old versus new syllabus and the section which is getting changed is uh, this one which is describe identity protection and governance capabilities of Microsoft Entra. So here you can see in the older syllabus, we have described Microsoft Entra ID governance, which is same in the newer syllabus as well. Then the second point is also same. Then I can see describe the capabilities of Microsoft Entra privileged identity management, which is also same in the previous syllabus as well, except this short form given here. And other than this small trivial change, you can see all the other points are exactly the same, both in old and new syllabus. And just to remind you, my friends, all the documentation that I report in this video is shared in the description box. So friends, as you can see, all the changes in the fundamental exams are quite minor. They're just cosmetic changes, nothing substantial. So I don't see any compelling reason for you to change 
change your exam dates in case you have already scheduled your exam you don't need to change your learning strategy or maybe look for some extra learning materials just stick to the microsoft learn to get started and watch our videos to practice your knowledge your understanding and your preparations against the real exam like practice questions and yes my friends in case you're looking for the best courses from both udemy and coursera on microsoft azure the links are right there in the description box and yes new year sale is on so all the courses are heavily discount make the best out of those so friends in today's video we covered all the upcoming changes in all the microsoft azure fundamental exams but in the next video we will cover the upcoming changes in intermediate and expert level exams so please do subscribe to the channel press that bell icon so that you don't miss any notifications like our video share our videos with your family friends and colleagues and i will see you in the next video till then stay fit keep learning and thanks for watching